David, hi. Please, thank you. Everyone is very far away from each other. That's good. We're learning, right? Hi, Kevin. That's really nice. Well, this is uh, great to be here. And uh, we're doing something I love doing, planting trees. I've always loved it. And we get great trees. The First Lady and I are very grateful to be here on the South Lawn of the White House as we celebrate the 50th annual Earth Day, National Park Week, and the upcoming Arbor Day. And that's going to be, tell me, David. That's right, Friday. Thank you. As more than 180 nations around the world battle the vicious coronavirus, we continue to mourn the precious souls who have been lost, so sadly lost, and so unnecessarily lost. It should have been stopped, and it should have been stopped right where it started, and everyone knows where it started. But in this time of trial, the beauty of springtime fills us with the peace and the hope of renewal. We're pleased to be joined by our great Vice President, Mike Pence. Please, Mike, stand up. You have done such a great job on getting us open again. We're opening again, Mike. It's starting to move. A lot of states are uh, in great shape, and they're starting to move it along. And uh, very importantly, Karen Pence, who's been so fantastic and did such a great job representing the country. Thank you, Karen. Beautiful job. Also here are Secretaries David Bernhardt, Sonny Perdue, Administrator Wheeler, Andrew Wheeler, thank you, and Leader Kevin McCarthy. And what a job he's done. And good vote the other day, yesterday. That was good. How's it? Uh, no, but previous to that. And when are you voting on the uh, Thursday. Thursday? Good. Is, there, is that a guarantee? Or There's no guarantee. There's never a guarantee when you're dealing with people, right? But anyway, but it's in good shape, right? Yeah. Thank you, Kevin, very much. On this special occasion, we are renewing our strong national commitment on conserving the wonders of God's creation. One of the most important ways we uphold this tradition is by protecting our priceless national parks and our public lands. To support our rollout war against the virus, many of the places that we have here were temporary closing, but we will we will have them open quickly. As we said, we're starting to open our country again. Thanks to our significant progress against the invisible enemy, I'm pleased to announce that, in line with my administration's guidelines for opening up America again, we will begin to reopen our national parks and public lands for the American people to enjoy. So what is that? Now, tell us about that, David. Right? Roll out. Good. When will they start? That's great. Okay. That's going to be very exciting. That's going to be very exciting. You have a lot of land to open up, too, don't you? Huh? People are going to be very happy. On this Earth Day, we celebrate that America leads the world in environmental stewardship, which is so, so true. I see it. I see the love and devotion that so many people like David, like you give and that we continue to have among the cleanest air and the cleanest water anywhere on the planet Earth. We're also uh, honoring our country's heritage of conservation, including through the support of One Trillion Trees. And that's the One Trillion Tree Initiative, which is a very big deal. We'll be planting over a period of time one trillion trees. That's a lot of trees, Kevin. How do we do that? Huh? Do you have any ideas? <laughs> That's great. That's great. That's going to be exciting. As a sign of our dedication, in a few moments, the First Lady and I will plant a maple tree right here on the south lawn of the White House. And wherever the tree is, where is this tree now? Uh, that's a beautiful straight trunk. That's a triple-A tree. That's great. As our nation grows stronger and greater in the months and years to come, and we will, we will be bigger, better, stronger than ever before. You watch what's happening. You see it happening already. There's such spirit with the concept of the state starting to open, such incredible spirit. This tree will grow also, and it'll stand tall and beautiful, and the future generations will be looking at it, and they'll say, I wonder who planted that tree. And uh, we'll say it was Kevin and David and Mike and Karen and a whole group of people, and we really appreciate it. 
but they'll be uh, admiring this tree and they'll be admiring uh, nine more trees. We're planting 10 beautiful specimen trees. They're specimens, all specimens. People may think that's an exaggeration or that's a Trump term. Actually, they're sold as specimens. Uh, they cost more money, but they are better. I buy a lot of them. And now I'd like to invite uh, the Vice President up and Karen to say a few words, please. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. President, and uh, it is a great honor for us to be here on the South Lawn with you and the First Lady uh, to be able to plant a, a tree of promise and a tree of hope. I know we are here in the midst of National Park Week, just a few days before Arbor Day on the 50th anniversary of Earth Day to plant and commemorate uh, this beautiful maple tree. But as you said, Mr. President, we also we also gather uh, at a time of great challenge in the life of our nation, but it's a, it's a time the American people have met the challenge. Uh, and as you've observed, Mr. President, that uh, with your leadership, uh, the American people are, are beginning to step forward. The states around the country are beginning to put into practice the guidelines to open up America again. And uh, you're a president who knows that America works when America is working. And uh, uh, on, uh, on behalf of the entire White House Coronavirus Task Force, I can assure the American people that we're going to work very closely with your governors every day uh, to get America safely and responsibly back to work. Uh, but today, with the planting uh, of this tree, Mr. President, you also renew uh, your commitment to preserve and, and protect and allow for the enjoyment of the vast natural resources of this nation. I've often thought that uh, the three pillars of American greatness are our faith, our freedom, and our vast natural resources. Uh, and today we celebrate that with the planting of this uh, new tree. We also celebrate it uh, with the word uh, from, uh, uh, from the Secretary that at your direction in the days ahead, we'll work closely with governors to reopen our national parks so that the American people can enjoy the the blessings of those, those extraordinary, uh, those extraordinary uh, places that our family has traveled to so many different times. Uh, Mr. President, I, I can tell you that uh, Karen and I have so many fond memories of, of loading up in the minivan, driving across the country, making our way to Yellowstone and the Grand Canyon uh, and to Yosemite. And, and I know the American people are anxious to see us uh, on this uh, Earth Day 2020, a few days from Arbor Day. Uh, they're, they're anxious to get back to enjoying uh, all of those, uh, those beautiful parks and will greatly welcome your direction. And so we thank you for your leadership during this challenging time, Mr. President. We want to thank the First Lady for her extraordinary compassion, the way she supported American families throughout this ordeal. And I'm absolutely convinced uh, that with your continued leadership, with the strong leadership that we've, we have at states across the country with the cooperation of the American people that are our nation will be growing again soon, just like this beautiful maple will for many years to come. So thank you, Mr. Thank President. You very much, God bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, Kevin, would you come up and say a few words? And why don't you stay right there, Mike? Thank you. Mr. President, First Lady, Vice President, Karen, uh, our Second Lady, I want to thank you for your work. I want to thank you for your commitment for the health and safety of every human. Today, we're witnessing the planting of the tree of the hope and dream that we know tomorrow will be better than today. That the earth will be stronger with our health tomorrow than it was today. This is the first of one trillion trees that will be planted around the world. Trees are the lungs of the earth. They inhale carbon dioxide and they exhale oxygen. When one trillion trees are planted around this earth, that will remove the equivalent of two-thirds of all man-made carbon dioxide, or all carbon, since the Industrial Revolution until today. So as you continue to work for the health of every human, you show today you're working to make sure the health is even greater with this Earth. So I congratulate Thank you, you on this. Much, and the first of one trillion just proves that America will lead the way in every industry, in every part, making it environmentally sound and common sense. 
but also lead the world in an opportunity that tomorrow will be better. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. That's Beautiful. Great. Thank you. Great words. He gave uh, a lot of facts that a lot of people didn't know, <laughs> including me. I thought that uh, I just spoke with our great First Lady, and she said, you know, it'd be wonderful for Karen Pence to say a few words. People have no idea the incredible job Karen Pence does representing this nation. Everybody loves her. She's special in every way. And uh, Karen, I'd like to have you say a few words, please. You did, she didn't know this, but I'd like to. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I, I do uh, cherish the opportunity to speak because David and I were just talking about while this tree makes the earth uh, better and stronger, uh, we talked a lot about mental health, and that's an issue that I know the First Lady has been dealing with her whole time that she's been First Lady. But I've just started doing a little bit with prevents, and we do want people to understand that during this crisis, we need to also mitigate the effects that on our mental health. And so we ask people to watch out for yourself, check in with yourself every day, check in with those you love, if there's something that you like to do, for me it's painting, maybe it's gardening, maybe it's reading or uh, cooking. We ask people to schedule that into your day so that you have a little bit of time that's just for you each day. And then we also ask that you talk about the struggles, but also talk about the successes. So as you have kids who are struggling with not having their graduation ceremony, or they're not being able to go out and play sports or they're missing their friends or their teachers, it's important to talk with them and let them get those issues out, but also talk about the successes, some of the great things that are happening while we're having to stay at home, uh, things you're learning about your family, games you're starting to play that maybe you didn't play before. And then last of all, if you're worried about somebody or you're worried about yourself, please reach out. If you go to facebook.com slash we are prevents, there's so much help out there. We don't want anybody to feel like there isn't help because it's okay to say, I'm not okay. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. So Mike, let's go over and do it. Okay. Okay, we ready? Ready? Yeah, Honey, grab one. one. You, you grab one. We'll do it. Okay. Come on. Very good. Very good. Happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Thank you, Mr. President. Sonny, David, Kevin, come on up here. We have plenty of dirt left. Come on. <laughs> This is some. This is some team. This is something we can be really well. Yeah. <laughs> right, son. You ready? We know how to show us. <laughs> One, two, three. It's better. You know, ruin your reputation. <laughs> there you go. Your reputation with the farmers would be shot. Well, yeah, no, no. All right. I'm on this end of the show. Come on. <laughs> ready? Yes. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much.